campus. Would you welcome my <laughs> you like this for a half an hour, <laughs> this voice, in about five minutes, it's going to get really annoying. <laughs> oh, I could switch to my Jean-Claude P voice. <laughs> I don't know, but probably that would hurt me after a half an hour. I think it's gravity. Or uh, maybe uh, Jerry Gord. I don't know. <laughs> kind of slow. So, but, uh, or I, th this is actually, I do have a regular voice. This is my regular voice. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll just use that. Um, so, but uh, thank you so much for having me. Um, uh, thank you uh, to Todd, uh, I'm sorry, uh, for Matt uh, for, for inviting me out initially. Um, Matt's wife, Melissa, was that big idea for a number of years in our marketing team, uh, and it's great uh, to connect with those guys again. And uh, it's an, a real honor to be here on campus with you today. So, uh, what I would love to do today is to share my story with you, my veggie tale. Um, uh, Believe it or not, I did not grow up thinking that I would be an animated cucumber. Um, <laughs> that was revealed to me slowly. <laughs> but, uh, so, but I'd love to share that story with you. And since I'm the VeggieTales guy, I would love to do it in VeggieTales format. Uh, and if you're not familiar with VeggieTales format, it goes something like this. We start off on a countertop where Bob and Larry come up and uh, uh, they receive a letter from a child who's having a problem or, or a dilemma. And they uh, answer that uh, question from that child in the form of a story. So then we go into part one of our story. And that's when I'll, I'll share part one of my story with you. And uh, we take a little pause in part one after that for a silly song with Larry. Uh, so I've got a silly song for you today. Yes! And, then, uh, and then we continue on with part two of the story, wrap up the story, and then go to the closing countertop with Bob and Larry. Uh, wrap everything up, uh, share a Bible verse from Purdy, and then, of course, remind kids that God made them special and he loves them very much. So, so, uh, so that, that's how I'd like to share with you this morning. Um, so, and the theme of this veggie tale is our plans for our lives versus God's plans for our lives. And about trusting a God who always keeps his promises. So, earlier this year we released the story of Noah, and we approached the story by asking the question, I wonder how the rest of Noah's family felt about God's direction to Noah. And what if he had a son, say his oldest son, Shem, who was not as on board uh, with God's plans for Noah and his family as, as, as Noah was? And what could we learn about trusting God and his plan for our lives through such a story? So, uh, so what I'd like to do is start off with, with part one and, um, uh, and our, on our opening countertop. Uh, but before I do that, and then followed by the first scene of, of the movie of Noah to introduce Shem to you. Uh, but before I do that, just, just to let you know, some of you may know this, but about a year ago we released a, a new series on Netflix. Yep. And part of that was a character redesign. So Bob and Larry... Uh, looked a little bit different. And Noah, uh, well, let me just say, uh, our fans were not shy in telling us how they felt about that. <laughs> so, some, some were okay, some liked it, some not so much. Uh, but Noah was going to be the first DVD release with those new characters. And so we decided to address that, you know, in, in a you know, Bob and Larry way on the countertop, uh, you know, coming into this first DVD. So I uh, just wanted to give you that, that heads up uh, on, on, on our countertop. So I'm going to get this clicker, I think, a little Uh-oh. 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 Um, I gotta say, you look nice today. Did you get a haircut? Oh, yes, I did, as a matter of fact. Nice of you to notice. You look a little different, too. Have you been working out? Yeah, I've been doing some push-ups. Hmm, I thought so. <laughs> you know what, Bob? I think we should just address the elephant in the room. You think so? Yep. Hey, Roger! <laughs> He seems nice. I just have one little question. Why in the world did you bring an elephant onto the countertop? Wow, you did. 
didn't know up. I didn't. Ah, I get it. It's Noah. We're telling the story of Noah. Yep. I love the story of Noah. It's one of my favorites. Mine too. I thought of it right away when we got this email from Chris from Raton, New Mexico. Um, excuse us, Roger. <laughs> Dear Bob and Larry, my new baby sister just came home from the hospital. The thing is, I prayed for a baby brother. I had good plans for a brother. Now what am I supposed to do? Why would God do this to me? <laughs> oh, okay. I see what you're doing here, Larry. Does this have something to do with God's plans? I think you're right on track. Thanks, Bob. Plus, I think Chris is really going to love the orange arc, the giant squid, and the really cool dirigible. The what, the who, and the what? The orange arc, the giant squid, and the... Yeah, 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 I heard what you said. But if I recall correctly, none of those things were mentioned in the story of Noah. Well, you know, I imagine what it would have been like for Noah's family. For his wife and kids. And what Shem would have thought of the whole thing as he returned from his honeymoon. <laughs> okay, now I'm really confused. Did I mention my imagination is very imaginative? <laughs> oh, boy. Don't worry, Bob. This is gonna be great. <laughs> Go film! Are we actually watching Noah's eyes? Yeah. Orange! 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 Orange!